Hi, uh, Dave Smith here. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to I'm going to make a bit of a series on the MFA. Uh, I'm well into the MFA by now. Um, we are coming to the end of the first semester, uh, and I it's a two-year course, so I'm uh, getting towards about a quarter of the way through, and uh, it's been. It's been quite a voyage of discovery for me. I trained as a scientist, I'm a physicist by training. So uh, doing a, a master's in fine art is quite, quite a departure uh, for me, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it, I would highly recommend it. Um, so I, I thought it would be worth doing a bit of a series. I have a website uh, specifically for the MFA, um, and I'll link that in the description below and it'll come up as a fly out I hope uh, so you can go have a look at that if you're interested I haven't updated that very recently mostly because I've been very busy uh, but I will be adding things to that website as, as time progresses uh, and probably what I'll put up there are things like uh, finished projects and, uh, and such Anyway, uh, as part of all, uh, all of this, uh, I've done quite a bit of research on uh, practitioners um, to situate my intended work uh, in, in the broader artistic community, so to speak. And one of the questions I've been asking myself is, aesthetically, where will my work uh, sit? And... Uh, I, I got uh, I got kind of interested in the idea of the sublime, um, but not really in the in the sense that um, uh, Burke and Kant uh, were talking about the sublime. And remember, they were three oh, three hundred years, three hundred and fifty years ago, something like that. Uh, so you would hope that these ideas and concepts had moved on somewhat since then. <coughs> but I've been trying to identify uh, practitioners who are working, who are producing, at least producing a project, if not an entire body of work, uh, in this aesthetic. And uh, I, I thought I would share some of those uh, with you. Uh, and, and I'm going to talk about different practitioners in different videos, rather than doing a mishmash of a whole load. So the first one I want to talk about uh, is... Um, uh, Dirk Breckmans, and you'll see some of his, uh, his his images. And if you go to Dirk Breckmans' website, <coughs> excuse me, which I'll again I'll link in the description. But if you go to his website, you look at his works, you get a page of tiny thumbnails, um, which is fine. And and as you look at that entire sort of map of his work, um, you do see a full body of work produced in the same uh, aesthetic um, and it's it's stunningly stunningly beautiful work um, and he, he, his work spans decades and so what comes up is the is the sort of his current work and then down the side is like a, uh, a series of dates just numbers they're years actually um, and if you click on those, you get a different set of thumbnails. And you click on the thumbnail, you see the image, uh, fairly obviously. And so, um, I was really captivated by uh, his images. So let's have a look at <coughs> uh, just a, a small selection of his images. I'm not going to speak over them. I'm just going to let the I'm just going to let the images run, and we'll see sort of maybe half a dozen, uh, ten images, something like that. Uh, and then um, you can get a sense of the aesthetic that I'm talking about. And I'm thinking in terms of something that I'm calling the contemporary sublime, but more of that uh, in a separate video. Here's some of Dirk Breckman's images. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, have you met this artist before? Um, you know, have you seen his work? You, you know, what do you think? Let me know if, uh, how you feel about his, his images. But here they are.
Okay, so here I am back again. That's uh, a little selection of Dirk Breckman's images. Uh, he's a Belgian uh, photographer. Um, not sure, not sure offhand quite where he's based, but in Belgium, it's a pretty small country. Uh, I'm, I'm jesting. Uh, okay, so how did you like those images? Let me know. Drop me a line. Like, subscribe, comment. That way you'll get more of uh, more exposure to not just my videos on your YouTube channel, on your YouTube dashboard, but also uh, other photographers who are doing similar kinds of um, videos, uh, rather than just the, uh, the constant stream of uh, gear reviews. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.